For many of you, Enphase has become a household name, especially when you start talking about solar. Honestly, I don't know how anyone could get a quote today for a solar system without being offered Enphase microinverters. But there's another household name that you probably would have never associated with solar energy that's looking to dethrone Enphase, or at least take market share from them. And it's a company you probably never would have expected to be in the solar industry in the first place. That company is Generac. Now for the last couple of years, Generac has been buying up companies left and right in the renewable energy sector, specifically related to monitoring, solar inverter technology, and battery technology. For a while, Generac has been offering their DC coupled hybrid inverter was a direct competitor to SolarEdge and their energy hub inverter. Now SolarEdge does have some pretty clear advantages over the Generac power cell, specifically with the module level monitoring and optimization. But this video isn't going to be a comparison of SolarEdge and Generac, at least not right now. I do plan on doing a video on that in the coming weeks, so be sure to subscribe to the channel because it'll be covering battery backup technology as well. But instead, this video is about Enphase Microinverters and Generac's newest acquisition they made in July, Chilliken Power. But before I enlighten you with this information, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. Just click the little red button down below, and while you're at it, you should click the little bell icon too. That way, you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this one. And for those of you interested in going solar or backing up your home with batteries, then visit us online by using the link in the description below to receive your hassle-free quote. We make it easy and affordable for you to make the switch to renewable energy. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies, and I'm all about helping you learn about the advantages of different solar technologies and who is making innovative breakthroughs to improve solar and battery technology for residential homeowners. Enphase has been in the solar industry since 2006, and they recently released their eighth generation microinverter, which I did a video on, so be sure to check it out because it is a bitchin' microinverter. Now, I'll be the first to say, Enphase has come a long way since their first generation microinverters, and they have done a fantastic job at dominating the microinverter market. Now, their biggest competitor has been SolarEdge, with their high performance string inverters using optimizers attached to every panel. We've done videos on this. Now, I'm not saying Enphase hasn't had competition from other microinverter manufacturers. I mean, they can't be the only company out there making microinverters, right? Well, there's actually not a whole lot of manufacturers developing this technology because it's actually really difficult to achieve as it's not just hardware, it's software development as well. Now there are two other microinverter companies in the market that I know of, and that's AP Systems, which tend to focus heavily in the commercial and utility sector. And then there was Chilliken Power, who Generac recently acquired, which this video is about. Now, I'll be the first to say, we've never installed Chilliken. I've looked into them, I've spoken to the reps, I've looked over their spec sheets over the years, but I think my holdback has always been the microinverter technology that they offered. They did have some really cool monitoring devices that I wish Enphase offered, you know, guys, but I think the technology of the micro is far more important than a little Alexa show looking device. I'm not going to show the spec sheet for the Generac Power Microinverter because I can't. Um, originally that was planned and as I was writing this script, you know, I was looking at those spec sheets on Generac's website. And as I was going to start editing this video, for some reason, Generac all of a sudden took down the Power Micro spec sheet from their website. The whole web page is gone. I have no idea what happened. Um, since September 21st when they announced the Generac Power Micro, but my, it's nowhere on their website for me to look at the spec sheet. They do still say they bought Chilliken and that they are releasing one, 
It's just they pulled all the details of their inverter. Now, I have pretty decent memory and I do recall that the specs looked pretty much identical to what Chilliken had already developed, specifically their CP250. So in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the CP250. I'm gonna kind of just go over their CP720. So that way you can you know, have an idea of the two microinverters that Generac will most likely be offering. I may need to do a follow-up video though, since Generac plans on releasing the Power Micro early to mid next year. So be sure to subscribe to the channel just in case any changes occur from now and next year. But for now, we can look at what Chilliken had offered. And like I said, there were two microinverter types. They have a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning a one panel to one micro, and a two-to-one ratio, which was two panels to one micro. They do say though, you can use one very high wattage panel on this two to one ratio microinverter, but cost is going to play a role in that. I, I really probably wouldn't do it. Now, I've never been a big fan of a two to one ratio for residential solar projects, as you can't actually see the data of each panel, which means if one of the two panels are having issues, it'd be hard for you to know without performing a truck roll and testing each panel. So us as an installer really would prefer not to do that. Now I said residential solar because in commercial and utility scale projects, a two to one micro or optimizer is actually really common because it's all about reducing costs and potential component failures. The less components you have, the less probability you have of a failure. So when you're dealing with thousands and thousands of solar panels, you don't really want to deal with tens of thousands of microinverters or optimizers as well. Regardless, the Chilliken CP720 was released in 2018 and offered the ability to have two 420 watt modules connected to it. This obviously reduces overall costs for large scale projects like I mentioned, since I'm really not interested in two to one for residential we're gonna look primarily at their one-to-one -one micro. I think it's best to just stick with that. The one-to-one -one is called the CP250, and that again was developed by Chilliken Power and will soon be offered by Generac as the Power Micro. The CP250, when compared to the Enphase IQ7, or better yet, the newer IQ8 is rather disappointing. I feel like I'm looking at tech I should be comparing that was released back in 2009 or 2011. Some of this has to do with just my personal knowledge of the installation process as well. Anyways, Enphase offers five different microinverters depending on the panel wattage. So it scales, you know, for your panel. Seriously, with Enphase, you can design from a 230 watt panel all the way up to panels that don't even exist yet for residential, 540 plus watts. Now, they build for the future of solar, not just what the market offers today. That is definitely what Enphase is good at. While the Chilliken Micro, well, they recommend between 190 watts to 420 watts per panel. Now remember, this is one microinverter that's covering this huge range of DC wattage, which means if you went all the way up to 420 watts on a panel, you're gonna see clipping and it's probably gonna be significant. Looking at the max continuous output of the CP250, which is the converted energy of the solar panel, that DC power to AC power that we use for our home, 289 watts, which positions itself respectfully between the entry IQ8 and IQ8 plus microinverter from Enphase. Now we hardly sell any of the base micros, the IQ8s or the IQ7s. It's usually the plus and now the M, which is one of the newer ones under the eights. And for larger panels like that LG Neon R that we sell a ton of, that 440 watt big boy, that is using the IQ8A, the A, the alpha. Since so many manufacturers are offering higher wattage panels, many of ours are like 380, 400 plus. So we don't really have low wattage panels to use that base entry level micro on. 
When looking at the voltage ranges, you can see the Chilliken offers a max DC input of 60 volts, which is in line with all of Enphase's IQ8 microinverters, except the entry. That one is really intended for lower wattage panels. That's, that's what it's designed for. So it makes sense that that one wouldn't have as high of a voltage window. Now the MPPT range is okay. I don't think Enphase or Chile can beat each other in this area. And this really just has to do primarily with, you know, optimization of the panel with shading and everything. Looking at the operating range, we start to see the issues of having a single microinverter for a large DC wattage range. Higher wattage panels have higher operating voltages. Yes, the max input of the micros are, is 60, but just like a car, you don't wanna be redlining continuously. You wanna be in a reasonable operating range. You don't wanna always be at the max that that microinverter can offer. Now the minimum and maximum starting voltage is better on Chilliken, but not by much. This is important because it, it's how early the microinverter will turn on and how late the microinverter will stay on. We really don't see the five volt variance here being significant, maybe five to 10 minutes in the morning and evenings. I mean, it's a marginal amount of extra power for you with this micro. Now, Generac pulled all the information on the power micro and pushed the release date. I'm not able to provide any pricing, comparison, or information on the monitoring. So I have no idea. Chilliken was offering module level monitoring and I would expect Generac to integrate this into their PowerView monitoring portal, but I really don't know for sure. And I'm not sure if the Power Micro will also have battery backup capabilities. So, you know, I, I don't know in that regards either. I did find this acquisition really strange from Generac because they have been primarily focused with battery backup solutions using their power cell technology. And while we have installed some of their pre-acquisition Pike Energy systems, and later I think we did one or two of the Generac power cells, I really don't know why they felt the need to enter the microinverter market. I mean, they're their battery isn't bad, it's, it's nice, it's decent, you know, it's a good hybrid solution for those of you that want that type of technology. It's not something I'm a big fan of at this point. I'm really, you know, excited for Enphase's uh, IQ batteries and the IQ8 microinverters, but I don't think Chilliken is even close with their current technology to pull this off because it took Enphase eight generations to get here. And they're only making their products better for consumers and installers. They're really thinking about the two of us. You know, we have to install it and your end experience, you know, they're really doing a good job with that. So if you or someone you know is interested in going solar or getting battery backup, then you can visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We make it easy and extremely affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy using Enphase microinverters. You can just get a solar system, you can get a sunlight backup system, you can get a battery backup system. There's plenty of options with what Enphase has developed. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.